We're just going to let our support class start. We'll quickly do our uh, podium and have them up here at the moment so our supports can get away. So we'll let them with the roar of them to go. Just do that, let them get around the corner and to come back down as well again. So there we go. Oh, support class out wide. Only leaves us one more motor to go today, folks. A quarter, to five, a quarter to six. What a wicked day today. We're also going to let these guys, we'll let them go back around as well and uh, we'll put them in there. And now we're going to uh, we'll wait for them to go back down and then we'll have the interview. So just staying with us at the moment. We might feature on this class, but we'll catch our bets as we get our... Uh, All right, the uh, field to get away in our uh, podium first of all. Uh, Mitch, do you, can you remember how many Woodvilles you're up to now? Uh, yeah, this is number 37. So, bugger, we missed a couple of years. So, yeah, 37 Woodvilles. Yeah, it's definitely still my favourite track in New Zealand. Um, yeah, still like to have it on Sunday. It's a bit more gnarlier. It was a bit tame for me today, so. <laughs> Beautiful words, Mitch. Wouldn't have you any other way, mate. Hey, personally, uh, Bradley, uh, hey, memories of you, mate. You, you're a fresh, you're a new veteran. So how does it feel today? Yeah, it's good. Um, I remember these two beside me at the north-south, and I think I was on a Pee Wee 50 throwing mud at them because they're on the <laughs> dreaded North Island team. So, um, yeah, it's pretty fun racing them. They raced the old man back in his day as well. So it's pretty cool to um, race with these guys. They get along pretty quick. Um, but, yeah, I'd just like to give a shout-out to my... Team Langlands Honda, Blue Wing Honda, um, and a shout out to my my boy Jay for his birthday. Oh, nice work, nice work. Cape's back, mate. Have, have you kept account of your Woodbills as he's 37? What have you done, mate? Uh, nowhere near that many, mate, but I, I remember my first one in 86. Oh, wow. But yeah, have missed a lot in between, but yeah, yeah, still done a few. Hey, what was today like? Yeah, I actually enjoyed it for a change. Like, I'm sort of with Mitch, I quite like it when it's a little bit slower and technical because today it was probably the fastest Woodville I've ridden, but in saying that, still enjoyable. Mate, nice one, so well done. There's the photo shot. Thank you, guys. Well done. Keep it racing. Well done. Right now, our support class out there, penultimate race of the day. Here we are now at uh, 14 minutes to uh, 6 tonight. Our, we won't quite get finished by 6 o'clock, but I'll tell you what, what a darn good show to be uh, rock and rolling. In fact, at one stage for our uh, update, people were saying we could be as late as uh, after 6.30, but uh, man, the club's just nailed it here today, and these conditions have been a real plus to uh, help them do exactly that. So uh, good work, good work on that one. Thank you to uh, Charles again and Nicole for getting the accuracy around our podium. Well done, some legends of the sport. First one in 86, you heard that? In 86 for Darren Cable, first one. So uh, 1986, Mitch has done 37, he's counted 37 uh, Woodvilles. I had you one, maybe two more than that, uh, Mitch, but you'll know, you'll know for sure, so well done. Yeah, it's the old story, of course, not every rider and every year is available, you know, family commitments, or maybe it's a, a bike change, or maybe it's uh, a fitness or an injury, so can't necessarily be here every year. 37 of them, sensational, Mitch, so uh, well done. Yeah, exactly, as both the boys said that, and that's exactly why uh, the veterans has come back on the set as much as those boys might like the Nalia track, what we're saying in general is that it's a far more rideable track for the vets being the uh, Saturday track compared to Sunday. Sunday, tomorrow, we literally make a much tougher motocross track tomorrow for our Grand Prix and our big senior day, so, uh, and that's why the track's closed immediately after racing as the machinery's ready. The boys over here, they're having a chin wag already. Uh, those machines are almost going to be idling as they uh, look to rip it up big time at the end of it today so great to see all right here we go support racing and uh, campbell murdoch doing it all again remembering when he got a top 10 nz at the junior nationals at uh, timaru at the backflips track all those years ago and uh, here he has come a long way put in some great man or two uh, motocross uh, performances and uh, put together with that the fact that uh, as a keen bush rider volunteer he's also been the organizer of some senior motos in the famous uh, thai career moto park as well Speaking about bush riders, a fantastic event that they have uh, uh, the last few years has been the North Island Secondary Schools competition. And man to man for that one, I think on the uh, first weekend of uh, September, uh, when they were scheduled, uh, uh, scheduled for that, 
Uh, that is going to be one of the best days. 153, I think, were our numbers uh, last year or uh, the year before, can't remember which year, but 153 kids doing uh, junior cross country for their secondary schools. Uh, top schools to come out over the last couple of years have proved to be uh, Wanganui Collegiate and New Plymouth Boys High School. They've uh, been two of our star started schools. Also, of course, to uh, Fielding High School, as you would expect, the local school with a farming background with kids doing some great uh, cross country racing. So bring it on in uh, 2024 again more mighty uh, schools cross country racing at the famed Taikaria Motor Park. We had a huge month back in uh, July uh, with uh, probably the biggest amount of racing I've ever seen in the supposed off month of the year. Last year we had uh, a round of the uh, Bush Riders uh, event. We had a round of uh, Men with Twos event. We had uh, also the two day uh, Co uh, Gold Coast event as well. So about uh, four days of sand track racing through July is good. And I'll tell you what, as we knew from this year, all the rain came in springtime. In fact, our winter were reasonably dry. In fact, uh, we never had one washout at flips all year for our wintertime motocross. In fact, some of them were on the edge of being a little bit too dry. So uh, there you have it, uh, a great summary of our uh, wintertime conditions here in the Manor 2 with Taikaria and uh, flips and uh, Gold Coast motocross track, giving us a real feast of moto in this part of the country. Twenty-four. There we go. Twenty-four going with them now at the moment. Go, Josh. Go, Josh. There's Josh out there. Josh Waller. Josh Waller. Here's your race lead. Though. Race lead down underneath the Honda Hill here. That'll be Campbell Murdoch on that AFC Moto supported uh, a KDM uh, 250F or is it a 350F? Can't remember. 250, 350. One or the other. 350. A superb bike for a, uh, a, a MX3 rider to be using. Then looking out here at the moment, 24 for Josh, uh, 88 for uh, Will, come on boys, uh, looking good, looking good at the moment, Will McCready, support class, uh, won't be on the podium at the end of this race. New Zealand uh, Community Trust, along with Savills uh, Gourmet Butchery and uh, Balance Agri Nutrients, proud to be behind uh, Brent as our uh, senior uh, MX support class today. 88 24, well in front of uh, Josh this time, double 17 out there. George Campbell out of Martinborough on the Sergeant Motorcycles, uh, Rakula Land Company, uh, Cotter and Stevens, uh, Yamaha Moto NZ, JCR, Blue Crew, and uh, FXR. So uh, go, George, good work from George Campbell, the Martinborough man. George picking up some good moto, and uh, good to see him in this uh, Brent's senior support uh, class for uh, Woodville 2024. There we go, white flag, white flag, counting them back all the way. There we go with uh, Triple Junior. There he is, go Sean, Sean Drysdale out of Visit Honda. The Ekanahuna man on the YZF250. Good to see him doing that class today. He's got a bit of the parental duty uh, tomorrow, so won't be with us to do MX3, but uh, a good class for uh, Sean, probably one of the better uh, uh, Woodvilles that he's ridden as well. So uh, keep on keeping on. That was an MX3 rider, a man or two uh, motocross, of course, a former. Uh, a top junior star as well. Uh, one of the uh, a few riders that actually did most of his riding on the Honda CRF 150. And for uh, somebody like uh, Sean, proved to be an awesome battle weapon out there. And uh, he's got some uh, great memories, I'm sure, of being here at Woodville. 
on that uh, CRF 150. Not, not as popular as a bike that they were from uh, years gone by, but still a few of them out on the racetrack. They proved to be very good for our uh, female competitors. The women uh, really were well suited with that uh, smoother power and yet greater uh, top speed, so uh, they were an exceptional bike. There we go, uh, 299, looking out, looking out. No Dave, no Dave, no. All right, uh, back there we go. So uh, keen to look out for that one. Uh, MX Senior Support with uh, Brent. So uh, our uh, Balance Agri Nutrients. All right, going hard, uh, 27 up there at the moment, along with the 80, 88, 88. Cool in there. Folks, uh, this is uh, practice number 10 with another 30 races. This is event number 40 here today. What a rocking good show. And it's our uh, final race coming down the wire for our women. Three different classes, 8 to 11.85, 12 to 16.85, and our 125 and 250 combined. So 